Welcome everyone to this standing practice for letting go. Later in today's practice, you'll have the option to sit upright either in a chair or on the ground, lie on your back, or continue standing. We'll start by standing with our feet directly under our hips, palms resting on the front of the thighs. Let's start with some full head circles. Slowly bring your chin to your chest and begin to make full circles, rotating your head around your shoulders. Start to deepen your breath as you make the circles a little bit bigger with each rotation. As you go around, you can let your shoulders and arms move in the rotation with your head, getting looser, heavier, and more open. Now you can come back to center and begin to make rotations in the opposite direction. First, just with your head and neck, breathing and gently rotating around your shoulders. As your breath deepens, and the circles become larger. Allow your shoulders to become part of that rotation and opening and letting your arms just hang and be free with the movement. slowly come back to center, taking a deep breath as you stand and settle back in to the alignment of your body. Now start to shrug your shoulders forward, being loose through your arms, letting your elbows and hands be heavy. As you continue, you can make the shrugs a little bigger, getting everything off of your back. Now gently come back to center, shake out your hands, really let your elbows and arms be loose, just get rid of anything that's stuck inside of you. Come back to center and take a couple cleansing breaths. Now you can begin to rotate your arms around your torso. Let them be loose and heavy, gently swinging from side to side. As your arms rotate around, Feel how you can keep length through the top of your head and how your breath can flow in and open along that vertical channel of your body.
Let your arms slow down and come back to center. Settle into the length and alignment of your body. Now we're going to connect through the bones of our legs by taking a very slow and connected knee bend. Place your palms on your thighs and visualize your thigh bones. Slowly start to bend your knees, letting your tailbone and spine lengthen towards the ground. The space inside your pelvis can stay open with your breath. As you find the bottom of this knee bend, really feel the connection with your leg bones. How your feet are connected to the ground. How your pelvis and hips stay open. And how there's a channel that goes directly through the middle of your legs, grounding and connecting you. Now slowly start to lengthen back up through your leg bones, keeping the feeling of connection. Come back to center. Now transfer your weight to one leg and slowly lift your other foot off the ground, making ankle rotations in one direction and then the other and then bringing your foot back down to the ground. Transfer your weight to the other foot and lift the opposite foot, making circles with your ankle and foot in one direction and then the other. and bringing your foot back down to the ground. Now that we've opened our upper and lower body, we're going to focus on opening our pelvis. Start to gently sway your hips from right to left. Start to deepen your breath sending it down into your pelvis. It's beginning to open space and starting to connect your pelvis with your feet. Feel how as you move, your weight flows out of one foot and into the other and back again. Your arms don't have to do anything. They can just hang and be nourished by the flow of your breath. Now slowly come back to center and we'll begin to move in the same way, but this time swaying front to back from the balls of the feet and toes to the heels. Feel your weight being transferred between the front and back of your feet. With each inhale, your breath flows up through the front of your body, lifting and aligning you. And with each exhale, your breath flows down the back of your body, anchoring and grounding you through heels. Now gently settle back into center. Picture your breath circulating inside your pelvis, 
as you slowly start to rotate your hips around in a circle. Let go of any holding in your belly, any gripping in your glutes or hamstrings. If you feel any tension, make your movement a little smaller and more centered. As your breath makes these rotations, imagine it's scraping layers of the old, dead parts that are no longer serving you off the walls of your pelvis. Emotions, physical restrictions, feelings of being stuck. They're all being peeled away and swept into a pile at the center of your pelvis. With each rotation, a deeper layer is being revealed and freed. Now come back to center, take a deep breath, and slowly begin to rotate in the other direction. Your tailbone can start to breathe down, connecting with the ground. With each rotation, your breath expands a little further and a little deeper. Again, your breath scrapes away all the gunk stuck inside your belly, hips, and spine. All that you have scraped away falls off and into the center of your pelvis. Just a few more rotations. Come back to center. And now it's time to really let go of all the layers that were stuck that have been peeled away. For this portion, you can continue to stand, sit in a chair or on the ground, or lie on your back with your knees up and feet flat on the floor. Whatever way you decide, try to have a strong connection between your feet and the ground. Feel the grounding through your feet and bring your awareness back into your pelvis. Visualize the pile of all that you have cleared. Everything that has kept you stuck. And imagine a flame is being ignited deep inside that pile. It's 
ignited by your inner energy. The force within you that gives you inner strength. Breathe that force up through the bones of your legs and feed the flame that's growing inside your pelvis. Continue to breathe deeply into that fire, watching it grow and expand and burn off all that is no longer yours. Stay here for just a few more moments, watching the fire wind down until it's just ash. There's a divine light shining above and in front of you. All that you could be shines forth in that light. Breathe the light. Breathe your potential into your body. Let it come down into your pelvis and into the ashes. The seeds of the new parts of you are planted. And as you continue to breathe and allow the divine light to expand inside of you, the new parts of you begin to grow out of the ash. This light spreads throughout your whole body, down into your legs and feet, up through your belly and spine, into your arms and hands, neck and head. You've embodied your potential and your light. Breathe and expand into all that is now a part of you.
You can stay here as long as you'd like. I also recommend going for a slow walk, preferably outside, where you can integrate and embody your movement toward who it is you are becoming. Thank you for spending this time with me and with yourself. You can like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a beautiful day.